Kwa. When Ruben Asitwa wants the weather forecast for Ngani, he consults the local forest. If he sees ants scurrying around, building a new nest somewhere, he predicts that heavy rain is coming. He is one of the traditional rainmakers who observes the behavior of plants and insects. When trees have flowers but no leaves, for example, then they don't expect any rain. The Nganyi forest in western Kenya lies in one of the country's most densely populated areas. It's small but rich in biodiversity and includes some of Kenya's oldest trees. The rainmakers have passed their knowledge down from generation to generation, including the art of predicting local weather patterns. Boniface Omena climbs to the treetops to get a clearer feel for the atmospheric currents. If the wind is coming from the west going to the east, that means that we are going to have rain. And if it is coming from the east going west, then that means no rain. Local meteorologists respect the traditional rainmakers of Ngani. They themselves use modern tools to track the wind, humidity and rain. The scientists and rainmakers have been working together and swapping results for around 10 years now, especially during the rainy seasons. And the rainmakers' local forecasts are often extremely accurate. We have to get access to, do, to the two forecasts, and then we try to interpret the two forecasts. The scientific forecast and then the, 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 the traditional forecast. We, we interrogate those forecasts, and then we come up with one consensus forecast. So that's the area of collaboration when it comes to seasonal forecast. That's how These joint weather reports are broadcast on a radio station in Ghani. It was set up by the Meteorological Service to provide farmers with vital information. Host Isaac Okote sometimes invites rainmaker Boniface Omena onto the show to share his tips and insights. For example, uh, farmers, they have been, have been advised to really visit agricultural officers to give them advice and to give them provisional uh, crops that they can plant or cultivate during this particular uh, rain season uh, in according to the weather forecast. Huh? Farmer Ruth Owano tunes in every morning to catch the weather service. She knows one intense downpour can ruin her family's livelihood. In 2023 alone, heavy rainfall destroyed nearly 7,000 hectares of farmland across Kenya, about 9,500 soccer fields. And as downpours become more common, focus are more important than ever. The Nganyi elders have told us there will be rainfall next week, so we need to harvest our beans before then. The traditional rainmakers also have a shrine in the forest. This tree has been here for almost 20 years before it started rotting, so we've moved the shrine to the other side. The rainmakers also have a reputation for influencing the weather. To make rain, for example, they perform special rituals at the shrine. As an exception, Ruben Asitwa demonstrates in daylight what is normally only done in the peace of night. I blow until the wind starts coming. If I feel some light winds, I will know that it is working. If I don't feel the winds, I will not leave this place until 7 in the morning. If I start at 2 a.m., the winds come by 3.45 and by 4 a.m. there is wind all over. For the rainmakers, that is the sign that rain is coming. Scientifically, this has not been proven. However, although they have different methods, rainmakers and meteorologists in these parts of Kenya are working together for the benefit of the community.